Hey guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modder X, and what you are seeing is real. This is CyanogenMod 11 M9 on the HTC One M8. So previously, CyanogenMod had released several nightlies for the M8. The CyanogenMod M8 snapshot build had not been released on the HTC One M8, which caused a lot of confusion. So if you remember, the M8 version of CyanogenMod came out. Of course, I was stoked because I thought that meant that it was for the HTC One M8 when in reality, after thinking about it for a second, I realized it was actually for all devices, the snapshot build of CyanogenMod 11. So now that it is available, I'm going to show you guys how to install it. It's super simple, super easy. You're going to go into the browser. You're going to go to git.cm. Okay, you're going to scroll down to where it says check out the download page. Click that. Okay, and then you're going to find the M8. So this is uh, one build for all variants. So you don't have to find the specific variant for the HC1 M8. You'll actually go down here, select the M8. CM11 2014 uh, 804 Snapshot M9 M8 Zip. Go ahead and download that. Download the G apps. Uh, the best way to find the G apps, and I'll include a link in the description for the G apps as well, so you won't have to go searching for those. Uh, this does require that you have an unlocked bootloader that you're S off and you have custom recovery installed. So from there, uh, you'll just go ahead and reboot into recovery. The best way to do that is to hold the power button, hit the reboot button, hit OK, and hold volume down. That should get you into the H boot screen. Okay, so from the H boot screen, you will scroll down to recovery and select the power button. Okay, once you see this screen, you're going to want to back up uh, whatever ROM you're currently running. This will do a full system backup, so it's going to save all important information, all applications, uh, all app data. It's going to save all your text messages, emails, uh, contact list, everything that's important to you uh, that you'll want to maybe go back to one day, or if for some reason CyanogenMod just doesn't work out for you and you want to go back to the previous ROM, this is the easiest way to get back there. So you would swipe to back up. Give that about 10 or 15 minutes to finish. Uh, once that's done, you're going to go to Wipe. And you go ahead and swipe to wipe. This is a full factory reset. So it's going to clear out your data cache and Dalvik cache. Uh, once you're finished with that, we'll go back and you will install. Go into your SD card. So if you have downloaded this directly to your phone, it'll be in your SD card. You're looking for CyanogenMod 11 Snapshot M9 M8. You'll go ahead and select that. You can add more zips and you will add the G apps for KitKat. Okay, once you have those two things added, uh, you'll go ahead and swipe to flash. Give that about two or three minutes to complete the process. It'll flash CyanogenMod 11 first, and then it'll flash the G apps. Once that's finished, you'll go back, back again, and you will reboot system. Okay, so if all went well, we should be greeted with the CyanogenMod 11 boot animation. And there is the signage mod boot animation. So once this boots up, I will show you guys just a few new features in signage mod 11 M9. Okay, so the first feature I want to show you guys real quickly is the new the new heads up notification system. So the way that you would enable this is you would go into your settings, and then you would go into notification drawer. Go to Heads Up, turn it on. It's off by default, so if you want to use it, you'll have to turn it on. Uh, you can make some other adjustments there as well. So if you don't want every single app notifications to pop up on your Heads Up display, you can actually blacklist some apps. So if maybe Facebook annoys the crap out of you all day, you can actually blacklist that app so it doesn't come through every single time you get a like or a comment uh, or whatever. So real quickly, I'll demonstrate it. I'll go ahead and send myself an email so you guys can kind of see how this works. Okay, so there is the heads up notification. Just kind of pops up there for a second and then goes away. If you actually wanted to interact with that notification, you would just click it and it would open up that notification. So, another really cool feature of CyanogenMod 11 uh, on the HC1 M8 and all other CyanogenMod devices is the theme engine. So, if you've not had a chance to run the KitKat CyanogenMod 11, then chances are you haven't seen this awesome new theme engine. The greatest feature of this theme engine is the ability to be able to kind of pick and choose which elements of which theme you want to run. So say you want a boot animation from one theme, but you like the fonts from another, you can actually choose those two uh, individual unique elements from each of those themes and have that on your one device without having to. So in other words, you don't have to flash one complete theme uh, and then flash a different complete theme. You can actually choose 
elements from each theme. So we'll go into the themes and we'll go into the theme packs. And there's also, if you're going to get more, there's an option to download the theme showcase, which is what you see here. This just brings every signage of mod 11 theme engine theme uh, that is compatible with that theme engine. It brings it all into one place uh, so that they're easy to find. There are many paid on here, but there all, are also a couple of free themes. And uh, there's probably about 50 or so themes in here. So once you have downloaded a couple of themes, uh, you can either apply them all at once. This one actually has style and wallpapers. We'll go ahead and apply that. And you guys can see that my notifications have changed. Uh, my navigation bar has changed. If we go to the home screen, I've got a new wallpaper. And my icons have all changed. Uh, so if we go back to settings and I go back to themes and theme packs, I'll change it back to holo. And we'll grab every element at once. So that'll go ahead and apply that all at once. But say I wanted just a few different things uh, from the Crimson Cobalt. I uh, say I just wanted just the style. I could apply just the style. Or I could apply just the wallpaper. When I go back home, you see now I have just the wallpaper. Okay, and then even further, if we go back into settings and themes, you can actually go into styles and it'll show you the different styles from each of the themes or uh, icons, whatever. If, if that particular theme has icons, it'll bring that theme up there and you can choose those icons. Uh, you can choose wallpapers from there as well. Boot animations from there. And so you guys see that uh, this is just a more intuitive, more uh, in-depth way of changing and customizing the theme of your phone. So guys, that about wraps it up for Signage Mod 11M9. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmotorx.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.